It's unbelievable to think that a sick child might not have medicine available to help them recover. That's what happened at some South Dakota pharmacies last year. Good evening, I'm Alicia Garcia. And I'm Phil Aldridge. Governor Kristi Noem announcing a new protocol to ensure crucial prescriptions will be available when needed. Beth Warden takes a look at the plan to keep prescriptions readily available and to push Washington to improve the pharmaceutical industry. Imagine walking into the pharmacy to get your prescription only to find out it's in short supply and they may not have it for you or have to search. That was the reality for some South Dakotans last year, but changes are underway. Last year, during cold and flu season, Secretary of the Department of Health, Dr. Melissa Magstead, watched as certain medication supplies dwindled. Little ones need amoxicillin for strep throat and ear infections, and I can tell you from personal experience that the cupboards were bare at our pharmacies for months this last season. Uncertainty from manufacturers thousands of miles away affects those here at home. China is the raw material holder and India is the finished product manufacturer for the majority of generic medications for the entire globe. South Dakota has a prescription cache in Sioux Falls and Rapid City. Five additional prescription stockpiles are being added to provide more protection. Aberdeen, Mobridge, Hot Springs, Pier, and Yankton. We've never as a state had a cache of medications stored in those communities. We will start doing that today. All locations will have antibiotics and a new group of medications. Albuterol, epinephrine, insulin, prednisone, and pediatric amoxicillin. Governor Nome's second step is contacting leaders in Washington. These problems are in the FDA. She believes the FDA, under heavy lobbyist influence, lacks transparency and proactive measures. Behind the counter, pharmacists are hoping the stockpile can keep shortages from happening again. Having those crucial meds available will be a good thing, absolutely. One of the items not added to the stockpile list is Adderall. It's more complicated, according to state officials, as it's a controlled substance and is regulated also by the DEA. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.